it's tough to understand how somebody can commit cold-blooded murder, plan to do it, tell everyone they're going to do it, have a motive to do it, and then somehow be considered insane. It's a case that left a community in shock. A woman decapitated and then left for dead in a Shakopee neighborhood. Today, the killer, Alexis Sabret, deemed not guilty because of mental illness. That ruling not sitting well with the victim's family. Our Paul Bloom at the Scott County Courthouse tonight. Paul, America Thaler's loved ones believe Sabret belongs in prison, not a hospital. Amy, America Thayer's uh, son detailed the long history of physical, mental, emotional abuse his mom suffered at the hands of Alexis Sabret, of course, culminating in this gruesome, grisly murder that occurred just a couple blocks away from here in downtown Shakopee two years ago. The family, of course, wants Sabret to rot in prison, but two psychiatric experts have found that Sabret was mentally ill. A judge agreed, meaning Sabret cannot be held criminally responsible for what happened. I just don't know what world or society we're living in anymore. Charles Thayer came to court Tuesday with this large photograph of his mother, America, taken years ago. When it was time for him to give his victim impact statement, he set the picture right in front of the man who killed her, Alexis Sabret. He wouldn't look at it. He didn't make any eye contact at all. He's obviously very ashamed of, of what he did. He killed the only person in the world that cared about this guy. Charles and his loved ones are in disbelief over a court ruling finding Sabret not guilty of the brutal murder of America Thayer due to mental illness. It was two summers ago when Sabret decapitated America with a machete, killing her in front of witnesses in broad daylight in a Shakopee neighborhood. The couple had a long, tumultuous history of domestic violence. Charles says no matter what happened, no matter how badly he hurt his mother, she would go back. This is your typical telltale ab abusive man, controlling man relationship for many, many years. And I can't even tell you how many times the cops were called for him beating the crap out of her. Two doctors would find Alexis Sabret suffered from psychotic disorder and was motivated by paranoid delusions when he murdered America, believing she was, quote, trying to get rid of and kill him and had been poisoning and implanting items in his body, a conclusion Charles finds appalling given the years of abuse his mom suffered. I get it. He's not going to walk out of jail today and he'll probably be in a hospital for maybe forever, a really long time. Um, but hearing the words not, not guilty to murdering my mother, uh, it's, it's really hard for me to understand. As you heard Charles say there, Sabret isn't going anywhere. He'll be held in custody without bail. In fact, civil commitment proceedings begin as soon as tomorrow. The state, of course, here will look for a lengthy uh, commitment in a, some kind of hospital, locked up hospital setting. But this uh, ruling from the court does leave open the possibility that someday Alexa Sabret is able to walk out of that hospital. Reporting in at downtown Shock, Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right, Paul. I'll